In the last video, we learned what is a plan, and in this video, we are going to learn what are maps and aerial photos. Are you ready? So, aerial photos first. An aerial photo is a photo that we take from the sky, or we take from the aeroplane. Imagine that you are on an aeroplane, and then you look down, and then you take a photo, and that photo is called aerial photo, like this and this. You can see the trees, the ropes, the playground, and then the buildings, etc. The cars, okay, but of course they are so small. For aerial photo, we have two types. The first type is called vertical aerial photo. That means you take the photo exactly 90 degree from the sky, okay, and then you get a photo like this. This is called vertical aerial photo. So you take Hong Kong Jiuping. 九十度直角, and the second one is called oblique aerial photo. Again, you take the photo from the sky, but this time the angle is less than 90. Okay, so again, you can see the building, you can see the streets. No problem about aerial photo, right? Then we go on to another concept map. A map is similar to the aerial photo. Again, we draw the map. A map is a drawing, but when we draw the things, we use the symbol and we use different colors to represent them. Okay, it is a picture of an area. And then when you draw this picture of the area, you look from the sky vertically, from above. And you use different symbols, you use different colors to represent. For example, here can you see yao 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 xiu yao yao xiu? Can you think about what are these symbols? Yes, you are correct. This is primary school. This is kindergarten. Can you think about this symbol? Yeah, this symbol is hospital. Okay. Or can you think about this symbol? Yes, this is a church. So, a map contains a lot of symbols okay we use these symbols to talk to represent the buildings and also for example like like this okay this is the car park okay this is the MTR so a map is a picture okay but we use different symbols and we use different colors to represent different things the green maybe about the park and then in this map for example the blue color represent the buildings okay so it is a map and there are different types of map let's talk about the first type the first type is called topographic map topographic map in Chinese is called Daying To. it is used to show the mountains and rivers like this, you can see the mountains, okay, the highest mountain in the world. You can see the blue lines, okay, these are the rivers. You can see the lowland, the green area, okay, the green area, right. So, this is used to show the mountains and rivers. We call it topographic map, Daying To. And the second one is called political map. Political map. It shows different countries and cities. For example, in this map, we can find different countries. For example, the largest country in the world is Russia. And then you can see the country China. You can see the country Australia. Okay. And it shows different countries and cities. So we call it political map. And the third type is called thematic map. Thematic map. It shows different topics. Top different topics. Uh, for example, we can have population map. Population map. For example, this is the population map of China. The red color represents the places with the largest number of people. 
and yellow color means the places with fewer people. Okay, so this is population map, Yang Tao data. And for the thematic map, it can also be a rainfall map. Okay, for example, red color shows the places with a lot of rainfall. Okay, blue color shows places with very less rainfall. Okay, or, or very little amount of rainfall. So we can have different topics. Okay, for example, you can draw uh, just like energy map, or you can draw different topics, the maps of different topics. So it is called thematic map. And the other one that we always use is called street map. Street map is to show the streets, okay, guide or And then it is the most common map that we use in our daily life. Okay, so that's all for aerial photo and maps. Please go home and study your book, page 7 up to page 11, okay, to see if you understand the concept of aerial photo and maps.